but Nintendo. Look, guys, it's here finally. It is here, guys. The ED64 Plus for the N64. It's a game save device. Guys, I've been so excited about getting my hands on one of these. Um, it's very inexpensive. I will leave links down below. Um, I purchased this on Amazon. I think it was about $85, $86. Um, I'm very excited to use it. Um, like I said, this unit is very, very inexpensive compared to the EverDrive. Those things are like 300 bucks, I believe, or whatever. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and test this one out and uh, uh, see how it works. If you turn this way, it have the micro SD card is already installed. Um, I believe it come with some games or whatever. So, um, on the top, you have your N and your P. Uh, your P is for PAL. And the, e, and the N is for the NTSC, so you can switch it to whatever region you're in, or whatever region your N64 is, I should say. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and try this thing on out. Also, guys, before I get this thing uh, up and running, I am going to be using a RetroBit N64 controller. These are some awesome controllers. This one, as you can see, is still in the box, but no worry because. I have this one already ready to go. Now, let me show you guys this compared to the original. Here's the original by Nintendo. Now, these analogs right here are notorious uh, for breaking. So, um, here at one of my local stores, they actually will replace these with the aftermarket uh, analog that's supposed to be a lot better. So, here's the comparison. As you can see, it's a lot smaller. Um, the analog on the retro bit is here on the left. Of course, it's centered. D-pad is on the left here on the um, the original, and the D-pad is actually centered. Um, other than that, the button layout is about the same. The start button has been moved up instead of more centered. Turning to the, let's go to the top. You got your L and R buttons, and then you have your slot for your memory pack or your rumble pack. Your Z button's in the back on the original. Coming over here. You have two Z buttons. You have L and R. Then you have Z here. Then you have Z there. Hopefully you guys can see that. And of course, in the back, you have your slot for your memory or your rumble pack. So um, that's it with that, guys. So let's go ahead and uh, remove our Mario 64. I love that game. One of my favorites. And let's go ahead and replace it with the ED64. All right, guys, we have it in there. We have it on the end setting on the top. This is gonna be our first boot. Let's see what happens. Wow, that was a very fast boot, guys. So yes, guys, it look like they have the full collection of N64 games already preloaded. Like I said, I did add a few games that wasn't on here, but um, for the most part, they have them all. So you should be okay in that department. This game is a classic. Between this, No Mercy, WrestleMania 2000, WCW NW Revenge. Man, I played these games for countless amounts of hours, guys. Now remember, guys, this isn't emulation. These games are being played on the original hardware. So the game should play perfect the way you remember playing on the original hardware. Now, if there's any games that you guys want to see, just leave a comment down below and I'll play any games that you guys may be curious to see how it runs on here. Like I said, none of the games should have any issues because you're using original hardware. It's nothing. It's nothing like the Attitude Era, guys. I love this game. There's Stone Cold, The Rock. I'm gonna go with the rock. And we are going to go up against. I don't know.
Mr. McMahon, why not? Oh yeah, if you want to interfere, go ahead. We're going to turn the interference on. Time limit, 30 minutes. We'll be done by the end. Blood shit. Why not? These games wasn't hard at all, so. The people's elbow, the people's elbow. All right, guys. This is it. Rock bottom for the second time. That's it, guys. Unfortunately, guys, if you want to switch to another game, just like you do on the original hardware, you have to actually uh, reset the system or power it off and power it back on. There's no shortcut or anything to get back to the main menu with the list of games. This game already runs like under 30 frames per second, and it's maybe like 5 to 10 frames per second whenever you try emulation a lot of times. So. Now, me and my friends, we have four controllers. We played this game so much. This is one of my absolute favorite games. Still stands up well to this day. So I'm really... I still got it guys, I still got it. Like I said, I hope the video quality is good. Um, I'm actually gonna order a capture card here soon. But right now, we have to work with what we have. Bye bye. Like I said, the retro bit controller takes a little time to get used to it because the layout is a little different, but I definitely like the feel of it. It feels a lot more modern compared to the N64, which that was such a weird design, but it worked for the time, so. Look like I'm finna take this one home, guys. Look like I'm finna take this one home. Maybe. Yeah, I think it's a wrap. 
It should be a wrap. I have a star, so. They was right there. Good match. But of course, I came in first place, guys. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Please like, please share, please subscribe. Leave in the comments down below. Like I said, if there's any other games that you guys want to see, I will definitely upload it. And I'll focus just on that game. So, help me grow this channel, guys. This is my first upload. And that's it for this one. And I'll see you guys in the next one.